after middle harness, we set sail towards the Haringvliet Dam. Till now we have only used mooring poles to spend an evening outside of the marina. This is not only convenient, but it also gives a feeling of security. In reality this can be further from the truth, and in some situations it can be downright dangerous. Mooring balls are usually attached to a chain to a block of concrete on the bottom of the sea or lake. The local authorities are responsible for the maintenance and thereby your safety is in their hands. An anchor is then a more trusted alternative. The only scary thing is setting the anchor, but when it is set you are far more safe, especially with strong winds. The anchor chain that came with this boat didn't look all that promising, so I have never dared to use it and certainly not when I'm asleep. And because we want to anchor a lot during this trip, we bought a new chain and now it's time to test it. I have read somewhere that you have to build a relationship of trust with your anchor, but I didn't know what that meant yet. Setting the anchor did go very well, but in the following night we were tormented by an anchoring alarm app that randomly went off. So the next morning we awoke a bit out of sync, and where last night we were afraid that the anchor wouldn't hold, this morning we were afraid we couldn't get it out of the bottom. The weather had changed considerably for the worst, but we were happy to be alive and on our way again. Life as a liverboard is a bit different than living in an apartment. You can run out of things like gas, water and diesel for the heater and the engine. So you have to check regularly if you still have enough. We also don't have a washing machine on board, so we have to find a marina that has one and is also close to shops to buy fresh groceries. The Stoutville is such a marina. The next day we did the laundry, we also bought groceries in the town center and prepared for the next passage. The next time we had to cross the Dordtse Kill. Some claim this is the most dangerous body of water in the Netherlands due to the busy traffic with big container ships. But that is something for next time.